Hello, fellow bassists. George Mesa, Bass Player University. And I am here to discuss something that came up at the university, as a matter of fact, and in another lesson that I had a private lesson with somebody. Because they were actually having a lot of trouble figuring out where the one was in a song that they were looking at. The one, as in beat one of the measure. And we had to discuss the secret one. Not the secret one, but the secret one, as I like to call it. And I'm sure I'm not the first person to coin this phrase, by the way. But what do I mean? This comes up a lot in African. This comes up a lot in South American, Mexican, and a few other things throughout every everywhere, throughout every continent. But for the most part, we get these in very specific locations. This idea that the and of four ends up actually being one. This is a, an extremely simple topic. I don't have a long video planned at all. But I want to at least give you the concept and maybe give you some ideas on how to approach it because it can confuse the listener when beat one is not the beginning of our baseline. Think about how much that you know takes us off of our usual alignment to the metronomic beat that we deal with. Not because you're playing to a metronome live, let's say, but if there's a drummer, they're keeping time, you're keeping time. Funny enough, it actually feels more comfortable sometimes when you really lock it in. Let's get out a good old metronome. Let's see what we got here. 80. 80 sounds good. I had it at 80. I'm going to leave it at 80. So when you play this type of thing, no matter what it is, it's important to be locked into your eighth notes. It's important to be locked into something called syncopation, which we've discussed here before. Syncopation being the ends, where normally we would play right on the beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now we switch over to the ends. One and two and three and four and. It's crucial that you try to say this as you do it, the way I'm saying it. Try to accentuate the word and, right? One and two and three and four and 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 one. There we go. After a number of ands and a missed note, we got back to beat one again. One of the most crucial elements of syncopation is the push-pull. It's the yin and the yang. This is tension. It's not harmonic tension. It's not a chord. But it is a push-pull. There is actually tension in this idea. Let me play a scale for a second, right? Just playing with a scale, right? <laughs> Nice and normal, right? Now what if I... See, that whole time, and I was 16th, by the way, but that whole time, I was not on the beat, right? I'll do it with eighth notes to be more specific. There's a bit of a tension here. play an extra one there just to hit beat one so it's really important that no matter what you're doing that you find the and of four none of this was particularly south african south american so maybe i'll give one of those real quick because interestingly enough and by the way we always play on beat one don't we we're almost reinforcing it by not playing it in this way so it's a whole topic for a whole nother day i think a long discussion perhaps and maybe I'll have group meetings, little Zoom meeting once a month or something. Is that something that you would be interested in? Please do leave a comment, like, subscribe, join my email list, and let me know if that's something you, you would join. 
might be some interesting way to an interesting way to bring out some certain topics in the uh, in the community that's, that's developing here. So here's what we'll usually see um, in this particular style I'm talking about. We start on beat one because that's where it all begins, and then we stick to the end of four. Stop me if you heard this before, right? This is a familiar sounding thing, but being completely comfortable with it and it not being an issue at all to play it at any time, to switch in and out of it, it's a very important feel to be able to take advantage of. So this has been, I don't have any PDFs, I don't have anything but this video to pass the information with. But I think you should try practicing this. I think you should put a metronome on and try playing to the ends. Try playing to, a, try using a bass line that always hits the end of four. Let's just try one last little thing for we'll have some fun with it, right? All right, so there... I gave just a little attempt at a very, very simple, note-wise, a very simple slap line where I used the end of four. And then at the last two times through, I didn't, just to give a, a difference in the feel. So bring this to your next practice session. Bring this today. Pick up your bass right now, right after this video, if you don't have it in your hands already, and mess around with this. See how it feels. See if you're comfortable enough with it. Because you never know when you might need it to mimic or to learn something or to simply get out the idea that's in your head into the bass, which can really end up being one of the hardest things of all. Thanks for hanging. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.